Hey, Fred. What? Would you rather hear a fairy tale or a legend? Ooh, a Native American legend. I have the perfect legend for you. Excellent. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. Ain't that the truth? And stay tuned. I have an American legend for you at the end of this video. Mm. There is a separate clubhouse besides the one that is down by the pool. There is parking here as well for compact vehicles in the front. But across from the clubhouse, there is also additional parking. Of course, you can do the old fashioned way and walk here. Little rock garden's pretty. As you can tell, it's been pretty dry here. And uh, it could use a little water. Tall Chief is an encore park located about 45 to 50 minutes outside of Seattle in Fall City, Washington, close to the Snoqualmie Falls. Nice location to do some excursions. So we peeked in the windows. We've seen inside the clubhouse, it's really nice. Um, but for some reason, the building is locked today. Um, so it looks like we're not gonna get it to actually go inside. Side of the clubhouse has some tables and chairs where you can bring something to eat or play cards. They also have lights out here at night. I love the way the vines and the trees are situated out here. I bet it's beautiful at night with the lights on. And a small, quaint little path. Follow the path <laughs> and find a beautiful red bench along it as well as beautiful ferns and greenery. I mean, they do call it the Evergreen State. If you continue onward, the path will take you down to the next road and over to the pool. But if you turn to your right, you will find this beautiful little gazebo. Hmm. Looks like it might need some work. There is some caution tape on it. It is really pretty. This is our site. It's very roomy. Um, lots of trees. And we just love it here. The people have been great. So we are headed into Seattle to the Fremont Bridge where somebody told us there was something hiding under the bridge. Great place to take your children and work on storytelling and nursery rhymes and fairy tales because this particular troll is based off the Three Billy Goats gruff fairy tale. And we all know that storytelling develops imagination, helps with vocabulary and many other literacy skills. So great, great teachable moment if you just kind of maybe even inspire your children by saying oh we're going to find something under the bridge or you could read a bunch of nursery rhymes and build that structure and come here and do a quick unit on nursery rhymes and fairy tales. And I love it when Mary reads me the story before I go to bed at night. I'll tell them about all three of those really good ones. <laughs> and this is the lodge where you'll find the pool, spa, sauna, and many other fun events inside. You will also find a volleyball net, pickleball, and basketball here. The lodge is very pretty from the outside. So let's go inside, check it out. Here we've got the sauna, nice and hot. Although it can be overrun with kids. This is the activity room. Plenty of tables for playing games. Not so many chairs. Maybe we'll look out at the pool, see if they're there. We have a big soda machine and a snack machine also in the activity room. And they've got one of many sanitizing stations throughout the park. And here we are at the pool room, right adjacent to the pool. But you have to walk around the building. You can't go directly from the pool room to the pool. Of course, this is the pool. Nice size and appears to be very clean. Another picture of the pool. 
and as you can see, plenty of chairs for lounging in the sun or the shade. Take your pick. Behind the activity center is the hot tub, although it's pretty much boarded up for the season. It's a pretty nice playground for the children. It's pretty quiet here, but it's a couple of days before Labor Day. It'll be interesting to see how crowded it might get later on this week. The community fire pit here. I have to say, since we've been on the West Coast, I sure do miss campfires. I do believe this is one of the tiniest rounds of mini golf I have ever seen. But if you want to play, you can go to the ranger station and get some golf balls and some golf clubs and enjoy just a few rounds of mini golf. We're looking at the building for the laundry and the showers and restrooms. And you have your information board here for anything that's going on or happening in the park. We are at Tall Chief Laundry Facility. There are four washing machines. They are credit card and coin friendly. They do ask that you limit the machines to for family. Now, since we have um, been here, this is a totally no sewer hookup. So I did wash a lot of clothes here and I have to say um, my clothes did not spin down well and you know the washer wasn't working very well. They also have six dryers. Snow Kwame. Snow Kwame? I don't see any snow. Uh, snow Kwame Falls Park. Yay! Part of the Puget Sound the Energy. Let's take a walk. So we're at the parking where we pay $7 here for zero to two hours. Each additional hour will cost you $5. We're gonna do eight hours. Yeah, not happening. And here's a map of the community area of Snoqualmie. So some of these Douglas firs are like four feet, this particular one's not, but <laughs> some are four feet in diameter and stand over 150 feet tall. Pretty cool. So hydro turbine, water wheel. Hydro turbine is a device driven by the force of falling water against curved blades to transform water pressure into mechanical energy. The turbine was part of the original mechanical installation at Plant 2 in 1910 and remained in service until April 3rd, 1928. Snoqualmie Falls is a sacred place. In the tradition of the Snoqualmie tribe, long, long time ago, there were two Indian girls who came here to fish before the falls were even here. They came to the river to fish and gather nuts, berries, and dip fruits. While they were here, Came dark outside, so they built a camp and they fell asleep. The youngest sister, as she was falling asleep, wished for the stars to come and bring the sister's husbands, star husbands. When she woke up, her wish came true. So shortly later, the youngest girl gave birth to a baby. And as we know, it was not only a human baby, but was the son of a star. Not long after that, he was stolen away back into the heavens to be with the moon and the stars. As he grew, he began, began to develop magical powers. And soon he missed home, returned back to the area where he was known to be a transformer. He transformed many things for the human race. And one of the things that he's well known for transforming is the falls that you see that behind me. He transformed Earth to create his waterfalls, and he's known as the Moon Transformer. The falls carry mist up into the air, and it's said that the mist are prayers to the Moon Transformer. This is still sacred ground for the Sukwami Indian tribe, and they still hold rituals down below in the basin of the river where they have cleansing rituals 
I don't do it as often because there's not very much privacy here, but the story remains that this is a sacred place, and the many people that come here feel strong feelings when they're by the falls. Okay, luckily the ice alert says we're fine for crossing. It's not freezing. Woohoo! Next month. This is a bridge to the other side where they have free parking. So, save a little money, walk a little bit. We didn't know that when we came here. So the Evergreen State does have fall. Throughout the park, they have placards that name different bushes and plants. Um, what I think is very fascinating is that they have asked the tribals how to say these um, plants in the native language, and they have them written right here on the plaque as well. As you're coming down the flights of stairs from the parking where you don't have to pay from, it's really cool they have adjectives describing the waterfalls um, on these the splashing, soaking, misting. Remember the mist from the legend? Our prayers reaching home. So here's a beautiful picnic area on the park and Fred and I are gonna sit down and enjoy a lunch that I've got. We could have gone to the restaurant, had a 24 ounce filet mignon for only $61. But I guess a sandwich will have to do. All right, it's time for the Tall Chief RV and Camping Resort Cellular Service Report. We've changed the format here a little bit to give you a little more information. I'll go over the normal stuff. We got AT&T on the left, and it's running at 5.8 megabits per second download speed. So moving on to T-Mobile, uh, not a very good showing here at 1.87 megabits per second. And it uh, looks like the winner is Verizon at a whopping 45.8 megabytes per second. So there you go. But I suggest, as usual, getting out in that nice greenery. It's just beautiful here. So have a good time. We'll see you in a second.